Um, <clears throat> hi everyone, this is Leon, founder of Only One. And guess what? Today we're talking about social media. I would, I'm willing to bet that every one of us here use social media one form or another, since the early days of Facebook to today with TikTok, Discord, whatever that may be. And um, just a quick show of hands, how many anonymous influencers are here with us in this room? There's actually one. Uh, you know, this is exactly what we expect, even if we have a full room of them, you know, because people do want to stay anonymous. And that's kind of the theme of today. Um, so before we begin, I just kind of want to give you a quick intro to who I am. And uh, so this is me. Uh, a few years ago, a honorable genetic engineer at Imperial College hacking away at my first biotech startup. And this is uh, me now, uh, a DGen. And um, so, um, NFT happened, right? So I got in this space around 2016-17 uh, and been super interested in this uh, since the early days. You know, invested in a few ICOs, got wrecked a few times, but kind of just been waiting for an opportunity to build something in this space that's meaningful and also very interesting to myself. And as we all know, NFT market has been booming since you know, earlier last year. I think the sales volume on Rarible and OpenSea went up by at least thousands and thousands of percent. And this is where um, it might sound ironic, but personally, I actually am seeing uh, somewhat of a micro bear market for NFTs, and here's why. <clears throat> Every day, there's like tens and twenties, maybe 30 different NFT drops. I feel like the technology of NFT is generally being misused, right? Uh, NFT as pure collectibles, I think, is going to have a you know, slowdown. And the future of NFT, I think, is going to be heavily utility-driven, meaning the NFT should serve as a feature within a wider product rather than being the product in itself. Right? So we're already seeing this trend happening with GameFi. A lot of us are super hyped. Probably most of us are invested into Axis Infinity or something similar. And I think this trend is only going to grow. And NFT as a digital unique identifier can really serve a feature inside many other industries and not just in gaming. And one of the things that we are trying to look for, uh, you know, application for NFT is in the social space. Social space is one that is inseparable from creators, content, and community. So like many of you, um, my childhood is literally archived in Facebook. Like, it was a very different place. It was beautiful. People share different uh, photos of yourself in school. You talk to your friends. You hang out. You remember their birthday with Facebook. And now it's like a political wasteland. You go to Facebook, you see all these talks about politics, you know, encouragement of various types of hate speech, and you get all these different types of problems on uh, traditional social media. And two of the problems that we do like to highlight, and I think these are the two that main, the main problem of centralized social media, one is an unfair creator economy. So what is creator economy? It's the incentivization structure of user-generated content. And that is the key to everything of a social media, because everyone is basically incentivized to do certain things on social media. And you know, content creators these days are being vastly undercompensated. Um, as a YouTuber, for example, there are a lot of things you cannot say and you cannot do certain things, otherwise you're going to get demonetized on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, whatever that may be. Um, you're you do have to rely heavily on third parties to, in order to monetize. Like you have to go through affiliate link sale, merchandise, uh, paid shout outs, sponsorships, all that good stuff just to make a quick buck. And for some of them, this is their full time job. And the second main problem is censorship and author authoritarian control. I'm, my family came from China, so trust me when I say there's a lot of things you cannot say in China on social media, especially now with their uh, social score system. Um, like, and also, the way the platform designed their algorithm is really to prioritize their own commercialization uh, structure. So um, what we see and by, because of the algorithm heavily dictates how we behave as consumers, and also it heavily affects our political stance and other view of the society. So just a few examples. Um, only last year, Twitter got hacked. Uh, some of you might have seen this, but Joe Biden and Barack Obama apparently was asking you for Bitcoin. And uh, you know what? People fail for it, right? I mean, president's asking you for Bitcoin. Why wouldn't you give it to them, right? And uh, so, and this happened just a couple days ago. Hashtag free Raj. 
Raj is not here, probably. But um, he, he's free now, and I think these are just some of the uh, things that we see quite frequently on social media. So I think the theme here is really about how social media should be governed, right? The community guideline is being designed by the corporations instead of the community. And even Mark Zuckerberg himself, our esteemed overlord, um, he's saying it's not sustainable over time for one person, even one company's operation, to be making so many decisions, balancing free expression of safety at this scale. So it's almost like he's hinting that we should transition into a DAO uh, management structure for a social media platform. And this is something that um, has been a trend in the crypto community as well. Decentralized social media hasn't been a new idea today. It's been around for many years, and the two main things that decentralized social media is all about is really about, number one, a decentralized creator economy. <clears throat> On a social platform like Facebook, advertisers pay the platform for users' attention, your attention. And for a decentralized social media platform, the users should get paid by the platform for their attention and activities on the platform, right? And the second thing that's very important is the DAO governance feature that promotes safety and also freedom uh, to be yourself uh, on social media. And I think this is another trend that we're seeing as well. It's also a lot of, it's a big reason why a lot of us are on Twitter with, with a, you know, NFT profile picture and just kind of want to be yourself, say what you want to say, and not get worried about any repercussions, right? Um, so the math is simple. We want to create a system where creators, account, um, creators' activity can turn into income directly because this is ultimately you know, how the incentivization structure should be. And here's our take on it. There's been historically different ways uh, different platforms have been doing. Uh, creator economy, for example, um, back in 2016-17, there's been platforms like Mythroll, uh, Gifto, Steemit. Most of them revolve around um, giving co uh, content creators their na native token for creating quality content. Now, that system you know, didn't uh, work out over a long run because it was very inflationary. And then we're seeing the advent of social tokens, right? And which has been, which has been the hype earlier uh, with things like BitCloud, Roll, Rally, User. And I think that's a brilliant model because it decouples the inflationary aspect with the actual rewarding of the social uh, cr uh, content creators. But here's our take on it. We want to do something called creator staking pool. And something called Genesis NFT, let me explain. So every content creator on only one is going to have their own staking pool. And the APY for those staking pool is going to correlate with how active they are on other social platforms. And basically, their fan base will be, would want to stake tokens in these creators' pool in order to uh, earn that APY. And the content creator would also earn a very small percentage of the total value locked from those pools. So this is a way we create uh, a formula where the content creator will earn more as he becomes more active. And what the Genesis NFT is, um, basically every content creator only has one NFT. And this NFT has uh, special access to that creator. So say you're a top trader, you can say whoever owns my Genesis NFT, I'll be your mentor in trading. And this holder will also earn a very small percentage of the total value locked in that creator's staking pool as well. So this is kind of our take on combining NFT and DeFi in order to create a new method of creator economy. Um, just a quick demo as well. So fans can support creators on a very simple dis discovery dashboard. And um, you can sort them by you know, the APY, or maybe you can search for them because you know who, they, who you're looking for. And ultimately, it's a social platform, right? And you know, I think the industry is uh, getting to a stage where more and more mainstream users are trying to come in. And one of the biggest barriers for user adoption in the mainstream market is really user experience. So we tried our best to design this so that it feels and looks like any social platform that you are typically using, such as Facebook. But if you look closely, there are a few things here that still stand out as a you know, web-free application, such as you're logging in with your phantom wallet. And that means you're anonymous. Um, and to become a creator, you have to go through a proxy KYC, probably to, through Twitter, by posting a unique code. And that way, we know you are indeed who you are. And finally, um, there's also some hottest pools, uh, staking pool recommendations on the bottom right. 
Um, we also have a NFT sale uh, launchpad and marketplace. So we just completed our own um, governance NFT sale just a few weeks back, and uh, we sold around 10,000 copies. So this is also going to be a launch pad for the future where we allow our content creators to launch their own collection of NFTs on the platform uh, that goes alongside with their social activities. And uh, so here's a quick one minute teaser. Only One is the first ever NFT powered social platform where you can connect with your favorite creators and where the NFTs you bought from creators can generate you passive income. Here's how it works. Only One allows you to get access to exclusive content and stake like tokens in your favorite content creators pool. Remember, the APY changes according to the creator's activities. Only One's NFT marketplace enables you to invest and trade NFTs easily and securely. You can buy Genesis NFTs. These are unique. This makes you the owner of the creator's pool and allows you to split the APY from the total value locked in the creator's staking pool. Build unique relationships with content creators using Only One's exclusive chat, where you pledge like tokens with your message, and the creator only receives if they respond. How about hop on a Zoom call with your favorite trader to learn their latest trading tips? Or even a cup of coffee with your favorite artist? Who knows? Connect with your favorite creators in a unique way and start trading NFTs on OnlyOne. Sign up now at OnlyOne.io. Right. So um, before we close, just, I guess just, we just really want, want to say um, the future of social is web free to quote Solana from yesterday. And I think now is a better time than ever for a decentralized social platform for two main reasons. Uh, number one is NFT has become the vehicle to penetrate the mainstream market. And you know, many people are starting to really connect with cryptocurrency through these artwork and these subcultures. And the second main reason is also finally we have something like Solana, a layer one solution that actually gives us that scalability that any social platform really needs. We already have a few um, content creators on the platform to you know, try out this uh, vision and also like, to be our beta testers. Uh, that includes like box mining, Cryptos R Us, Cryptonauts, which you might have seen. That's Tina. Hey, Tina. <laughs> yeah, so she's, uh, she's on the platform as well. Uh, I'll talk to you later. And um, yeah, so I guess um, we'd love to see you guys on the platform. If you want to join as a content creator, do swipe this um, QR code. And uh, thank you so much for your attention today. And uh, I guess enjoy your lunch. Thank you.